Let's see, making sure everything's okay. Morning, everyone. This is the Fortress Wrecker, and we are going to be streaming all the way through. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe it could sound a little bit better by that. One step ahead. Excuse me. This is only that Oh. Oh, right. Hope this actually is close. Trying to add the you guys got it for me again. It's my first time trying. Okay so, okay, so there we go. So now that way I, we can watch it here. And then the mimic. Yes, all right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Go ahead. Okay. All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing Pokemon presentation stream. And I'm hoping everyone watches to see what's up, you know. Um, Chat, this is Fortress Striker. Okay, I'm just uh, my friend here, Geo. I'm gonna... Got my pito. This is this cheese. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready, folks. Okay, so I have my stream ready. I'm prepared. The Pokemon presentation is ready. Now, I it was last night in my stream. It takes Spider Man to explain we are going to do this. We are ready. Uh, if this is your first time seeing what I look like, what his side look like. I am the Fortress Trick. <clears throat> and uh, we are ready for, for the presentation. Not too long. You guys can uh, enjoy. Okay. So this presentation, I'm more than hoping to more update Pokemon. Legends of Final Evolution. Raspberry has does it's the way I can ask every grass only ten of red and blue. 
um, really get by people so much. All right, guys. Like I have to verify to know <coughs> who, who's um stars. I know it's Baragato, Rococo, Tuxedo, his question, whatever. Change the. Yeah, what thing with pain? There you go. Now you see me editing, you see. Everything here. I want you guys to see it full. Okay. It's premiering in about 60 seconds, guys. Probably like a minute and a half. I said 58. And uh, 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 let me know if I'm loud and clear, Gio. Let me know if I'm loud and clear for all viewers. I want people to go ahead and check it out. All right, good. We're loud and clear, guys. So I just hope to see what's going to happen. Very, very, very. It's got about one minute left. And then, um, all right. And let me hear what your predictions also in this as you're catching up. Who are you trying to see? Who do you want to? Add that. I believe they're gonna be happy. If don't worry, the Kanto region. Go to again. Love to see. It. Also, I'm hoping we don't. Can hear me, but can you hear the volume of the Maybe some buffering is going to happen. Why?
Hello everyone, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. In today's Pokemon Presents, we will be sharing information on several of our games, <laughs> including the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. But before that, I'm happy to share some news about the Pokemon World Championships that will be held in London, UK, this year from August 18th to August 21st. Hi there, guys. How about that in the podcast? Please have a look at this video. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International. Chris Brown! And I'm delighted to share with you hey, updates on our annual Pokemon Change World Championships. After three years, our global community will come together August 18th to 21st in London for not only intense Pokemon battles, but also to be together, celebrating old friendships and creating new ones, all in the spirit of friendly competition. We are expecting thousands of players from around the world to compete in this year's trading card game, video game, and Pokemon tournament deluxe events. Still Many players have long journeys earning their invitation over several <laughs> they still years. Do and we are thrilled to learn Updated who will earn the title of world champion in 2022. Like this year, we are also adding many new elements to the show, beginning with two new Pokemon titles. Please join me in welcoming Pokemon Go, where nearly 100 players will compete across two age divisions, and Pokemon Unite, where 16 teams from 11 regions will compete. These oh, players go. have battled all year for their shot to earn the title of the very first world champion in these new categories. We also have a few surprises in store for fans attending in person, including our largest ever Pokemon Center World's pop-up shop. For those unable to attend in person, you can follow all the action from wherever you are on our dedicated live streams for each product, including coverage of every championship match for each age division. Pokemon tournaments sure are held you never around the world. And we hope the competition at the World Championships inspire many new players to make new friends through battle. And one more thing. It's my honor to unveil for fans today our new Pokemon World Championships Pikachu Trophy. Take a look. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Only the trophy. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you in London, and now I would like to hand it back to Mr. Utsu Nomiya. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. With the Pokemon World Championships returning after three years, please look forward to exciting battles to keep you on the edge of your seats. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our games. For the first time in three years, we held in-person Pokemon Go Fest events in Berlin and Seattle. And this weekend, we will be holding an event in Sapporo, Japan. Mysterious creatures known as Ultra Beasts have appeared at each event. And these Ultra Beasts will all gather together during the Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale event that will be held on August 27th. The finale is a global event that can be enjoyed by trainers wherever they are in the world. Trainers will be able to encounter Pokémon they may not normally see in the wild. They can also encounter the mythical Pokémon Shaman by completing special research. Will you be able to help Re contend with the Ultra Beasts? And what has become of Professor Better Willow? Better question. Who was sucked into will Ultra you Space actually help me get my Zeru that Stay I got from Go back into the game or it in my additionally daily adventure incense has been added to the game if that it's actually a special has never incense worked. that can be used once a day and lasts for 15 minutes it can attract pokemon not normally seen in your area and rumors say it might even attract legendary pokemon use daily adventure yeah, incense for a 15 minute hell. adventure every day over the past six years we've seen pokemon from every region debut in pokemon go there are now over 700 Pokemon you can register to the Pokedex. Whether you're making new friends at Pokemon Go Fest or having heated battles at the Pokemon World Championships, the entire world is the stage for Pokemon Go, and our adventures are just getting started. Pokemon Unite, the hot app for Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Pokemon Unite has continued to grow and evolve since its release one year ago. In celebration of its first anniversary, we're adding not only new Pokemon and features to the game, but also many events and campaigns. 
A new type of quick battle, Pika Party, will begin today, August 3rd. In this special type of quick battle in celebration of our first anniversary, all Pokemon on the field, both wild and players, are Pikachu. We hope Hi. you join in the festivities. Geo's excitement. Oh. Additionally, Buzzwool will be joining Unite Battles starting today, August 3rd. Buzzwool is an all-rounder that can grapple opposing Pokemon and launch them into the air. What the? can battle with Buzzwool's ability, Beast Boost, which temporarily increases Buzzwool's movement speed and basic attack speed each time it knocks out Look an opposing the Pokemon. Beef. Beef. This first anniversary is just the start of what's to come in Pokemon Unite. We're planning more events for September as well, so please stay tuned. Persuade. And we're gifting Unite licenses in Hollowware for Pikachu, Lucario, Blastoise, Snorlax, and Sylveon in celebration of the first anniversary. Oh, there's your Pokemon Unite news. That's the easy It, it's red! This looks like Mewtwo's back in the Pokemon Cafe Remix game, and it's hungry. Make delicious drinks and dishes with your cafe staff to treat Mewtwo to a wonderful time. Once you make a lot of delicious drinks and dishes in one minute cooking to fill Mewtwo up, it can join your staff. Here are some hints on how to play the one minute cooking puzzle mode to satisfy Mewtwo. Tip 1. Gather great staff. Don't play the game. Mewtwo likes to order small plates, so gather staff that specialize in small plates. Pikachu, Squirtle, the five-star chef Victini, and the newly arrived Latias are good at those orders. If you want to aim for the high score, try raising your Pokemon staff level. Go to the Pokemon menu to start raising their staff level by training them. Once your great staff is up to the challenge, it's time to begin one minute cooking. On to the second tip. Just keep on mixing as much as you can. Once you begin one minute cooking, keep on mixing the Pokemon to rack up those combos. Use these tips to make delicious drinks and dishes, and you should be able to satisfy Mewtwo. We hope you'll give one minute cooking a try. And there's more. Following Latias, who just appeared today, Latios will also appear in the future. Wait, there's even more. We have a special campaign underway starting today. This is your chance to get Victini and Latias on your staff. Pokemon Cafe Remix is available at no cost to start and is playable on Not Nintendo really Switch systems and mobile devices. Yes! <laughs> Next up, an update on the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. All right, let's go. Oh, I saw. I just saw. It. Did you guys see it? The whoopers are changed. Yeah, we're getting a new design whooper. Let's see. Attention, please. Today we begin the treasure hunt. Travel across Paldea. What the hell? Get to know the region. Oh, cycle, that's awesome. Okay. Oh. 
Dude, seriously, I'm getting the abundant nature. violence so bad. Look at that. Dude, he looks so awesome. The rich culture. Simple. The Pokemon. Hector, I'm a fan. I go. And the people. Where will you go? I don't know. Are you the main? Who will you meet? There's like. What will you achieve? Oh, that's all. With you will be your Pokemon. Journey together. Learn you have together. To drag it over. Together. Find something to treasure. What is this? What is this? Oh, what is this? This is I mean person. Let the treasure hunt begin. So that's the new form. We're getting something that, that's like Pokemon. We're now starting to get a clearer picture of your adventures to come in the Paldea region. I'd like to dive a little deeper into the information presented. So let's take a closer look together, shall we? The newest titles in the Pokemon series are the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. These titles will be open world RPGs, a first for the Pokemon series. Well. Sprawling landscapes and vibrant towns weave together to form the Paldea region where your new adventure will unfold. These are the legendary Pokemon, Koridon and Miraidon. You'll rely on one of them as a partner in your adventure. Climb on, and together you'll dash across grassy fields, move across water, and glide through it's the so sky. Funny, you're already getting the legends burning in the game. Your partner can change forms as needed while you explore every nook and cranny of the region with them. You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. And a special independent study project awaits you, the treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. Three grand stories are waiting for you. One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. You'll go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. In these games, there is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Chart your very own course along Victory Road. Saint. The other two stories you'll experience hold many surprises Saint. and discoveries as well. Which story will you begin with? How will you progress through them? It is all up to you. Professor Sada and Professor Churro, research legends Churro. passed on in the Paldea oh, region. Churro. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. And Mr. Jacques is your homeroom teacher who teaches biology. You'll have your battle-loving friend, Nimona. And you'll meet Arvin, an upperclassman and a great cook. There's also Penny, a shy student in your grade. There are gym leaders, too, like Grusha, the ice-type gym leader. The people you meet in Paldea <laughs> are sure to enrich the your the adventures. Look at this. What's the Paldea region? Many different species of Pokémon also call the Paldea region home. This Pokémon is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. Yep. 
It lives on the land and covers its body with a poisonous film. Oh, it's a poison type. Fido are delightfully squishy Pokemon that are smooth to the touch. And here's Satitan, which has a large body and a hard horn that can freeze its surroundings. Of course, we also have the Pokemon from which you'll choose your first partner. Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxly. Enjoy meeting lots of Pokemon. Please tell us. And complete your Pokedex as part of your adventure. Greatest. By using the Union Circle, you can enjoy co-op play with up to three friends. You can go look for Pokemon you haven't yet discovered. Or even ride together to race across the map. Enjoy all the Paldea region has to offer with family and friends. The terrestrial phenomenon makes Pokemon shine like gems. Hang All Pokemon in the Paldea region are able to terastalize, which can provide a boost to a Pokemon's type and make its moves stronger. It Some Pokemon weird. will change type when they terastalize. Really? Oh, flying Pikachu, you know. What type they become blue. seems to depend on that Pokemon's Terra type. For example, an Eevee would typically remain normal type after terastalizing, but there could be Eevee that become grass or water type after terastalizing. We hope you'll try to catch Pokemon Please. with rare Terra types. These? Pokemon that have rare Terra types are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. You can challenge Terra Pokemon in these battles with up to three other trainers. This is a new kind of raid battle where you can attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. Finally, it's something right. Try to cooperate with your allies to get the upper hand in these battles. This is a lot better than Dynamax. After you successfully defeat a Terra Pokemon, you'll get the opportunity to catch it for yourself. We've kept all the things you love about Pokemon while evolving the adventure you can have in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We hope you look forward to the day you set out on your adventure. I mean... The Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games are available to pre-order at participating retailers now. Oh, you get the... Your independent study in the Paldea region begins in three months. We eagerly await your enrollment. That's all for today's nice presentation. Nice heaven. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Alright, guys. That is the Pokemon Company's review. This is the main point we were going to look up. And I actually was pretty impressed with this. Uh, let's go ahead and chat it up. Okay, so guys, this was the uh, Pokemon presentation. This was pretty interesting seeing all the Pokemon that we reviewed here uh, on the live presentation. This was actually pretty great. Uh, hey guys, thanks for watching. You know. For Watching everyone. So yeah, I want to know you guys' thoughts. What you guys really think? Um, the Tyrell size actually looks not bad. I mean, I the, the the little crown thing they have. It. But let me put it this way, guys. Whatever they're doing in this game is a higher improvement, better than Sword and Shield. And Sword and Shield was a difficult game because of the way how 
they they try to do something new and fresh, adding it to the Switch, but they didn't really do an, an excellent job in my opinion. I'm only hoping that the story isn't going to be as bad as I end Fast Pace as like it did in Sword and Shoot. I really hope they stick somewhere with the characters. We still don't have a rival on like well like, we have a rival like like uh enemy rival team rocket or team plasma or team Mega Man sapphire aqua whatever but yeah it's uh we still i guess we're gonna have to wait till later on and they'll probably do another update of the game or at least later on uh but yeah i am gonna get violet of course the way they did for the file legend is awesome but i actually am more surprised that we are actually going to get them a little bit early. You, when you get the Legend Pokemon, they're the last thing. You get. But like, no, we're actually going to get them a bit early. That's actually very interesting. I mean, sure, they want to change it up a bit. And it's not like the usual. But then again, you don't want to repeat the same thing. Pokemon's been around for 26 years. And doing the same concept can be really tiring. But really interesting to see how much we're going to go so far with this. And you'll see some old Pokemon, some other Pokemon. Last game, get the territory. So we already know about the, the Technia. Back to our delightfully squishy Pokemon. And you'll meet our. As you can see. Paldia. So yeah, here in the Paldia region, we're already seeing uh, the new type of the Whipper, and we heard it's gonna be poison type. So it's it has like the the brown skin color uh, for the for it. It's possibly gonna be poison water or poison ground. Um, I wouldn't mind poison ground more because we've already had enough poison water types. Sweeney. Already seen that. No, Overquill is actually well fish regular. Sorry. Overquill is dark. But brown poison I seem to be especially that's a great grass type. Electric Tyson is part ground. Fairy types. I'm a fan of fairy types. Um, a lot of you are not of it either. And I want to make sure that the, everybody has the. Uh, we will. It, we got revealed. But I hope they they they, they well let this hope there be an an because I. Sucks that we. Um, we're gonna see more. Sure, guys. Honestly, I'm hoping to see more update gameplay. Uh, I know Geo's I possibly excited right now, seeing all that peak. I, but honestly, I didn't really. Care. Except for the TCG card game, that one actually. Awesome scene. That tournament is going to be huge, especially. And you know, I love to review that this episode of the podcast. Possibly me this week if we could. And just get we'll do some leadership. So we'll be updated to that, guys. When you look page, we'll always be that. Uh, basically, now with uh, everything happening in Gen 9, I hope everyone's looking and always read. Uh, the one the I mean, they're obviously going to get it again. And everything, like you still, like I still have seen some Pokemon. So have to, yeah, like slow down where the Pokemon is going to take place. And I'm hoping everyone. Uh, get some pre-orders ready. Uh, you still have enough time. You can pay a little by little by little, and it, if you pre-order, you get. 
do with the flying time and it hit the balloon just like the flying Pikachu did in the original. Let me see when we got a new Pokemon 20. Pokemon Max Pikachu. So you get to see a lot of. I'm. I mean, I say, like I said, like the Crystal thing is a little bit weird, but I still prefer it better than Dynamax because Dynamax was just the. And I still wish Max. Still the one. It should have been like a one time thing. It should have been. This is a new thing we're doing. Happening. Our Pokemon's a question, but it's tiresome. We'll do fresh. Something like that. You don't want to like just disappoint most of the fans. Is how it goes. I mean, there are hardcore Pikachu. Pokemon, well, yeah, Pikachu. Pokemon fans out there just saying, oh, but I love what they do. I don't understand. I admit, it's not something. That most of us are gonna agree and disagree uh, all the time. I like I like the crystallized thing was okay. I was expecting like new forms, new something. I don't know. And and also I expect more evolutions because the last game I believe we could have gotten evolution. And my friend wait, Moses uh, told me like if they would have done evolutions in Gen Eight, we would have gotten ourselves obviously the Steel type. We would have gone a dragon type. And for this game, I'm still one more evolution because I don't understand the point now. You're gonna have ev someone to evolve into different types it's as good as like RC is to have given it to make itself any kind of type it did. Uh, I want to see like more evolutions, but it has to be in the time you did on like. Oh, it's not. People the game. Yeah, maybe we'll maybe not be always that. It's not bad. We could have had the steel cult one, Billion. Dragon one called uh, Neon, which is cool. Uh, this one, if I don't know, we're gonna get ever do. I'd say maybe ground. At least two. It was at least get yeah, more even line type. Should get rock type. Let's get that goes with the Paldia region. Uh, we also hope to see dates soon. Said. Pretty much, I'm very little disappointed about one thing that was. Yeah, I get, I get. Well, we want to see how it is, but like I said, I need to know because everyone's focuses. These two Pokemon because of their design, like look. This is like underrated. This is like the main one. Coco Coco has always been like a main. But I feel so bad they never crashed. Actually, be now I'm realizing it's not gonna be it. because we. If since we saw the ice gym as one of the, if that's the first gym you're gonna fight, then you obviously gonna have to choose Coco Coco. Remember, everyone chooses the team, and whoever's the first gym. You know that's going to be your main, and that's the main you have. So obviously, Fue Coco is going to take fire is going to be number one again. So far, that's going to be the problem. Them fire like so badly in the last game. Score bunny. If you mostly play Pokemon Shield, because there were there was the Ice Gym leader, and who later because remember they did two games. They did the two games with different types. Where in Sword you have the Fighting and the Rock type, and in Shield you got the Ghost and the Ice type gym. But you better, but in Shield was the better game, and you choose Scorbunny to get a Cinderus later on, because Cinderus was very powerful to defeat most of the gyms, better than Sword because Sword was more balanced out in a way, despite you know Water didn't do right. But still, I I rather prefer to see Grass as number one again. They can only happen if Grass had the typing that it could challenge it. Already had turf with Grass Ground and it was already broken. Burnable was the reason. Terrifying. I don't know. I know. Actually, here, basically, 
we have a chance, but I'm going to say it's not going to be the best hype of the book. So, I'm hoping we can everything, and I want to see how this goes. I really want to see how far we're going to go in this game. Because it really looks good. They're really adept for that. They probably had to get a lot of criticisms for Sword and Shield. If we do get a Sword and Shield reboot, please make sure you fix everything. The story itself. The gameplays. Don't add DLCs. Just put it all together in one game. You know, just do something. Then you're not, obviously not going to see that game again. Prior to any. Then again, they should have made a Sword and Shield too. Like, I can wait to. I can wait to. Pokemon, get all of them to the end. That really took a lot of players, so when they got black and white, too, better. Same story, great. And this time, you get all the Pokemon you had in those three. Uh, for this one right here, I'm hoping that everything they got is going to And if you remember in the previous last stream, guys, once this game's released, it's already going to be working with the Pokemon Home, so I actually cannot wait for the Pokemon Home to actually i want to see what's going to happen with and of course love the, the concept idea of how i get to work with players so i get to work with my friend moses in the show a lot of who's i really can't wait to see how how far we're going to go I, it's, so anyway, if there's any last comments you guys want to say before I end the stream right here, um, please let me know. Questions, comments. Alright, so Jamie Hospital, but uh hope you guys did enjoy this Pokemon review stream. If you guys want to rewatch it, like I said, you guys go ahead here on the official Pokemon channels here. Uh you go ahead and enjoy the view. Uh I'll give I guess I'll give this one a like since I Scarlet Violet review because that was the only thing everyone just really cared. Half A one. Pokemon United C but this one was also really Pokemon Tournament. If you're gonna do Pokemon Tournament in the World Championships, at least update the game and lower the price. It's still sixty bucks, guys. And if you don't believe me, don't believe me. Go to GameStop. Go to any side. I'm gonna go to GameStop for example. I know GameStop's weird, but listen, they Nintendo does not hold balls. And oh, okay. Well, uh, it's not sixty dollars. It's now forty nine eighty four. Okay, yeah, right now. But beforehand, it actually was still sixty dollars. Look, you can say this crossed this. And it's fifteen dollars just to get this a battle pack. They haven't even updated. It wasn't popular. They just brought it back from the Wii U and they put it here. This game's like seven bucks right now. So honestly, guys, if you are going to play this game, still play a tournament. Man. Wish you good luck in those tournaments. Have fun with that. But honestly, man, I wouldn't waste my time. I want to go ahead. Scarlet. Skin. But all the cards here, it's still 60 bucks for this. For CSC. But I also want to add one more thing, guys. Uh, we do have. Basically. Um, the one last thing. Yeah, they did open world thing. RCS did 
That's why they play tested with history. Like, I liked it too. I only didn't like it one thing. Is oh guys, don't just build here that you rip off from wild and you can lock area. Like, if you see me in this box and I try to put my hand out, it doesn't let me go through, and it tells you no, and basically go past through. No, I don't like that. I like it if it's more fast the world. Pokemon, I get some miniaturized, you don't want to go too far at that point. But let's really try to be more. I know in this game. Uh, and obviously because really did a good job working but like I said the gameplay itself is completely different than but with that guys I am gonna go ahead and start I will come back later on in the stream tonight on Twitch uh, we'll play whatever game is going to come up. I do want to play Spider-Man more, but I actually I'm going to do this. Still working on my little I uh, Joe are going to do at 22. It sucks. Um, but yes, we'll go ahead and get So I wish you all I hey, I hope you guys enjoy this stream. And uh, don't forget to, to to get all your updates with me. Follow me on Twitch again. And subscribe if you would be if you not. Be pretty cool to follow. Subscribe also, but basically to. I don't know if you. And uh, don't forget to go to the feed. Player podcast. Look us up. Go ahead and check us out. Get more updates when I'm streaming. Get more updates when the next episode of the podcast, which should be, which I want to do maybe week, which. Uh, so yeah, and Geo, be on the ball with it. And with that, guys, I'll go ahead and say you so long, farewell, bye. As this is Forza Striker.